screen for our opening ceremony. And we'd like to welcome Miss Kara Penley in the arena for our national anthem. Please rise and remove cover. Thank you, and again, that was the Northeast Six Shooters getting ready to put on a cowboy-mounted shooting demonstration. Again, cowboy-mounted shooting is the fastest-growing equestrian sport in the nation. We ask you to just come on in and find a seat. The folks in the red shirts and the blue shirts are going to help you find those seats, please. All right, the, the, what you're going to see today are mounted contestants compete in this fast action timed event using two 45 caliber single action revolvers, each loaded with five rounds of specially prepared blank ammunition. There are no projectiles, it's just enough black powder to come out and pop these dangerous balloons. 
The Cowboy Mounted Shooting Association has a variety of levels of competition for everyone, ranging from novice levels to the seasoned professional. So today, we're going to start out with our Wrangler. Our Wrangler division is uh, starting off with Harper, who is a 10-year-old rider. She's riding her horse, Rio, who is 16 years old. And this Wrangler class is for those 11 and under. The riders in the Wrangler class ride the same pattern that the grown-ups do, but they may shoot Hollywood cap pistols. Our range monster on the ground has given her the green light to go. And that was Miss Harper, and Rangemaster has given her a clean score for her run. She comes to us from Mount Vernon, New Hampshire. Thank you, Harper. Nice job with you and Rio. Next rider we're looking for in the arena is Alan Green on Levi. Alan comes to us from Bethany, Connecticut. He's a senior level men's one. Alan's been riding, uh, he started off in bulldogging in the 60s, and He's uh, gotten involved in cowboy mounted shooting about six years ago and been riding Levi for about three years. So this will be our first competitor using our blank ammunition. So again, it will be quite loud, but don't worry about the, there are no projectiles, but please make sure you have taken a seat. Now he's going to go faster. to our second gun. All right, Alan Levi got a clean run. Well done, Alan. And that's our range master, Stephen Roy out there. Our range masters are in the arena at all times during competitions to ensure safe riding and shooting is exercised at all times. Riders may ask them any final questions. They serve as our referee and count any penalties. All right, next rider we'll be looking for in the arena is Beth Higgins on her horse, Ace. She's got a seven-year-old quarter horse. This horse she's had now for a few years and he was trained by the very own Sam Helms of Higher Gun Horsemanship. And this year Beth and Ace were the New Hampshire State Champions Ladies 2 winners this year. We thank our balloon runners out there. We've got our few of our gals from the UMass equestrian team. We can't run these sports without it. All right, I got a go ahead from the range master for Beth and Ace. Okay, that was Beth and Ace, but unfortunately we got one left standing out there. That 
balloon will cost her an extra five seconds to her time. A little bit more about the history of our sport. Mounted shooting has been with us since the invention of firearms. We know that mounted shooting drills were used to hone the skills of the cavalrymen. The Wild West shows of yesteryear included mounted shooting exhibitions. Cowboy Action Shooting and the Single Action Shooting Society were the stomping grounds for some of the original competitive mounted shooters. The first organized competition was in 1992 just north of Phoenix, Arizona. But today, the CMSA has over 15,900 members and more than 1,100 have joined in 2016 alone. Our next rider is Mandy Whitney on her 11-year-old thoroughbred casino. She is a ladies level four rider from Ware, New Hampshire. Okay, Mandy and Casino, we've got a, our fast time so far of 12.8, but we got two left standing out there, so we've got to add a total of 10 seconds to her overall time. I mentioned the levels e earlier. Mandy was a ladies level four. The next rider we're looking for is Steve Armato. He's a men's four. There's a men's division, a women's division, and a seniors division with classes one through six in each of those divisions. All riders start in class number one. When a, when a rider gets a certain number of qualified wins in their class, they advance to the next class. And this is Steve Armato on CB. We were thankful to Steve for carrying our American flag. He's been serving in the United States Navy for more than 24 years. We thank you, Steve. All right, we got another time, fast time of 11.759, but we got two left standing out there. As I mentioned, these riders are using two 45 caliber revolvers. Single action revolvers must be cocked each time before firing by drawing the hammer back. So between each balloon, they pull the hammer back to rotate the cylinder. That brings the live cartridge into the chamber. They release and then pull the trigger. In between every balloon, they shoot five targets, put one gun away, and draw the other one. Difference between a single action and a double action is the double action revolver can actually be fired by simply pulling the trigger without cocking the hammer. We've got an extra step with these old firearms. Okay, next rider we're looking for is Craig McCoskery. He comes to us from Upton, Mass. He's on his double registered paint and pinto 18-year-old spot. And he's a men's three. Uh, we got a time of eleven point. 515, and we got one left standing out there. That was Craig and Spot. Next rider we'll be looking for is Kara Penley on Ace. She was kind enough to sing our national anthem for us. If you're just joining us, this is Cowboy Mounted Shooting. We welcome you to come on in and watch, but we need you to find a seat as soon as you can. The folks in red shirts and blue shirts are there to help you find those seats. Come on in and sit down. Safety is a club's number one priority, not only in firearm handling, 
but also in horse training. Many clubs sponsor clinics to assist new shooters in starting their horses and learn the basics of safe firearm handling. All right, this is Kara and Ace. Ace is a 20-year-old quarter horse, and she's a ladies' level four rider. That's what we wanted to see. All right, a time of 12.298 and clean. Nice ride, Kara and Ace. The course we're running out here today, you might notice, it actually looks like a big E. We made it up just for today's event. But the courses we run, there are about 50 plus different patterns, had a total of 10 balloon targets. Three to six patterns are chosen each day of the match. We shoot five of one color with one gun and five of another color is shot with a second gun. Often the last five are in a straight line following a barrel like it is today. This is known as the rundown and when the riders gain most of their speed on the course. Next rider coming in the arena is Jared Penley, the lovely husband of Miss Karen. He's on 12-year-old Magic. Now we had some fast fingers there. We got three left standing for Jared and Magic. Magic's new to this sport this year. She's a 12-year-old registered half Arab, half quarter horse. She is for sale if you're interested in getting into this sport. If you're just joining us, this is Cowboy Mounted Shooting. We ask that you please come on in and find a seat. Folks in the red shirts and the blue shirts are gonna find you a spot. Sit on down and enjoy it. All right, next rider we have in the arena is Miss Michaela Fowler on Sterling. She's a ladies level three rider from West Newberry, Massachusetts. about that move. Ah, she got all those blue balloons, but we got three left standing on there a top of a time of 12.320. The riders are scored on time and accuracy. As I've mentioned, there's a five second penalty for each missed balloon, but there's also an added five seconds if you knock over a barrel or drop a gun. A 10 second penalty is assessed that for, for not running the course correctly. For example, these first two white balloons and the last two white balloons are called gates. They need to ride in between those two balloons. All right, in the arena, we've got Wendy Gibbons on Jewels. She's a ladies level three rider from Menden, Massachusetts. All right, we got one left standing out there for Wendy and Jewel. Wendy was also our ladies level three rider. Okay, now we're gonna take just a couple minutes to change up our course. We're gonna put it in a little bit of a different pattern to show you some different riding skills through this. All right, this is a, another course we made up, especially for today, to help the Big E celebrate their 100-year celebration. Once we get these balloons and targets, it'll be like the horses are riding in a pattern of 100. Yeah. The object in this course will be to shoot all five white balloons before they turn the end barrel, but they also have to circle these extra barrels 
If they don't circle these, that could be a 60 second penalty for not following the course correctly. If you're just joining us, this is cowboy mounted shooting. It's the fastest growing equestrian sport in the nation. We've got mounted contestants here competing in this fast action timed event using two 45 caliber single action revolvers. Each of them are loaded with five rounds of specially prepared blank ammunition. There are no projectiles. It's just enough black powder to shoot out about 12 to 12 or 15 feet and pop these balloons. The Cowboy Mounted Shooting Association has a variety of levels of competition for everyone, ranging from novice to the seasoned professional. Here in the Northeast, organized clubs have been established for more than 10 years, hosting 30 to 40 events across the Northeast per year. The Northeast Six Shooters have the largest club in New England with over 80 members, and will be hoping the largest match of the year, the Northeast Regional Championships. Again, if you're just joining us, come on in and find a seat. We're just swapping out this course, and we're going to start at the top of our go order with our Wrangler again, Miss Harper and her horse, Rio. Not sure if you were able to notice on some of these horses' hooves, we've got what's called hoofies. They're a sponsor of the Northeast Six Shooters. And they're peel, easy peel and stick decals to dress up for any occasion. They're called Fun from the Ground Up, and you can find them on Facebook under Hoofies or HorseHoofies.com. All right, we've got Harper and Rio in the arena. Harper is 10 years old, and this is her first year as a Wrangler. Rio is around 16 years old. All right, Harper's our Wrangler. She's gone through the first part of the course, switching guns, and bringing Rio home for a rundown. Next rider we're looking for is Alan Green on Levi. Again, he's our senior level men's water rider. He comes to us from Bethany, Connecticut. He's been in the fire service as a former chief and EMT, and he's currently the director of public works in Bethany, Connecticut. All righty, we got another clean run for Allen and Levi. Again, if you're just joining us, this is Cowboy Mounted Shooting. 
come on in and take a seat. We can't have anyone outside the rail. Folks in the red shirts and the blue shirts will have you, help you find a seat. Again, we've got Beth and Ace in the arena now. Again, this is a blank ammunition. These blank cartridges are fired. They're called 45 caliber long colts. The brass cartridges are loaded with black powder like that used in the 1800s. This load will break up a balloon up to about 15 feet. Riders do not carry loaded guns outside of the arena or when not competing. Live runs are strictly prohibited at all our events. All right, again, this is Beth and Ace. All right, she took care of those whites. She's swapping out for her second gun and headed for a rundown. All right, we got a time of 29.426, and we got one left standing, so we'll have to add five seconds to her overall time. Okay, next rider we're looking for in the arena is Miss Mandy Whitney on her 11-year-old Thoroughbred Casino. Again, Mandy is a ladies level four rider and she's got one win under her belt. A few more wins and she'll be off to a ladies five. She comes to us from Ware, New Hampshire. All right, let's go get a Mandy in Casino. All right, one gun away, headed for that rundown for five more. Woo, that was the clean run she was looking for. Time of 21.920 and clean. Nice ride, Mandy. Talk a little bit about our clothing requirements. You might either dress in traditional Western style or you can dress in the old time style of the late 1800s. Traditional, or also known as the rodeo style, includes a long sleeve Western shirt, five pocket jeans covered by chinks or chaps, Western boots, and a cowboy hat. But if you prefer to roll back the clock to the late 1800s in the time of Annie Oakley and Wyatt Earp and try to look as authentic to the period as possible, you can wear shirts without collars, high-waisted pants with buttons, not zippers, and an old-style cowboy hat. All right, we've got Steve Armato on CB in the arena. He comes to us from Stoneham, Mass. He was our overall New Hampshire state champion this year. We got a clean run for Steve and CB. That was the time they were looking for, a 21.495. Thank you, Steve. All right, next we're looking for Craig McCoskery. Again, he comes to us from Upton, Massachusetts. He was the Mass State Champion class winner in 2014, 2015, and the Reserve Champion in 2015 at our Northeast Regionals. 
But I need to know, let you know what he does when he's not shooting. Kids, if you're skipping school, this could be your math teacher skipping school too. What does your math teacher do on the weekends? He and Spot make some quick work of those barrel turns. Bring them home. All right, another clean run for Craig and Spot in a time of 20.251. Nice ride, Craig. Craig was riding his 18-year-old double registered paint in Pinto, but you can use any horse or even a mule in this sport. Some horses take to this sport easily, others do not. It's up to you, your horse's temperament and your desire to train him or get her used to shooting, turning, and going fast. Some riders will use earplugs for the sel themselves and their horses. Next rider we're looking for is Kara Penley on her 20-year-old quarter horse, Ace. She's actually owned Ace for 17 years. She comes to us from Temple, New Hampshire. All right, we've got low one left standing out there, but a time of 20.783. As I mentioned before, the riders are scored on time and accuracy. So Miss Balloon adds five seconds to their overall time. So while speed is important, accuracy is usually more important than speed. A typical pattern can be run in 15 to 35 seconds. If you're just joining us, this is Cowboy Mounted Shooting. We ask that you come on in and take a seat. Our folks in the blue shirts and the red shirts are gonna help you find a seat right away because we do ask that no one stands in the aisleway outside of the arena. This is Jared Penley on Magic. Ah, uh, we had another happy finger there. We got one left standing out there. But his mare Magic, 12 years old, is really taking a liking to this sport. As I mentioned earlier, she's for sale. But Jared and Kara own Penley Horsemanship out of Temp Temple, New Hampshire. The ranch specializes in training horses for mounted shooting, as well as colt starting and problem horses. Next rider in the arena is Michaela Fowler on Sterling. I think another one that's skipping school today. She's an 18-year-old senior at Whittier Technical High School for HVAC. She's riding Sterling. Michaela actually traveled all the way to Tunica, Mississippi to compete in the national championship this past April. Quick work of the first five, quick gun change, and setting herself for the last five. Woohoo! Nice 
rod, Michaela. Time of 20.006 and clean. And I believe that's our fastest time on this course. All right, last rider on this stage will be Wendy Gibbons on Jewel. Wendy is a ladies level three rider coming to us from Menden, Massachusetts. Wendy's been riding since she was four. She grew up showing 4-H and open shows. She bought Jewel as a yearling and trained her for all around events, including mounted shooting. She's a riding instructor. She's also the co-founder of New Life for Paws, a rescue group for street dogs and puppies from Aruba when she's not horsing around. Thank you, Wendy. watching us for like All right. Wendy and Jewel get her done A nice clean run, a time of 21.504 for Wendy and Jewel. All right, we're going to go ahead and change up our course one more time, and we'll bring all our... And stick around after this stage. We're going to demonstrate our shotgun class as well. They're going to shoot the first five balloons with a pistol, pull out a shotgun, and shoot two clusters of balloons. And if you're just joining us, we're the Northeast Six Shooters, coming to you with a cowboy mounted shooting demonstration. Be a couple minutes here while we change the course, but we ask you to come on in and find a seat. This event is also being live streamed, so we thank all of our supporters at home watching online, including Ms. Dina Barada. She's the president of the Northeast Six Shooters. We wish she could be here too. Thanks for cheering us on. All right, we're setting up for stage number three. If you're just joining us, this is Cowboy Mounted Shooting. It's the fastest growing equestrian sport in the nation. Mounted contestants compete in this fast action timed event using two 45 caliber single action revolvers, each loaded with five rounds of specially prepared blank ammunition. The Cowboy Mounted Shooting Association, or CMSA, has a variety of levels of competition for everyone, ranging from the novice levels to the seasoned professional. Today, the CMSA has over 15,900 members, and more than 1,100 have joined in 2016 alone. 700 events across the country will be held by the end of this season. In the Northeast, organized clubs have been established for more than 10 years. The Northeast Six Shooters are the largest club in New England. All right, we're ready for stage number three, and Miss Harper on Rio. She's our Wrangler. This is our 11-year-old or under group. She shoots in the Wrangler class. They shoot the same pattern as the grown-ups, but they shoot Hollywood cap pistols. She's still required to engage each target as if they were shooting real blanks.
All right, that was Harper and Rio with a clean run. Again, our Wranglers are the 11 and under. So they'll shoot the real McCoys when they get older. All right, we're looking for our next rider, who is Alan Green on Levi from Bethany, Connecticut. He's our senior level men's rider. Once he has enough wins in his class, which he's got one right now, he'll advance to the men's two. As you'll notice in this course, they need to shoot all five white balloons before they round that random or black barrel. And I think that's number three clean round for Mr. Alan Green. He is ready for the Northeast Regionals. And that's Stephen Roy out there, a range master. He's in the arena at all times during the competitions to ensure safe riding and shooting. He's also our referee out there. He counts any penalties. A lot of ground folks help us put this together, and I want to thank Mr. Cowboy Ken Forcier for work at the gate. It's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Cowboy Ken. <laughs> All right, we have Beth Higgins on Ace in the Arena. Ace is a seven-year-old quarter horse that she's had for three years now. He was trained by San Holmes Hired Gun Horsemanship. She made that turn around the random barrel. Otherwise, that would have cost her another 10 seconds. All right, we got a clean run for Beth and Ace. In a time of 29.548, we're tracking all these scores up here. We'll let you know how they all did in the end. Next rider we're looking for in the arena is Mandy Whitney on the Casino. And she's a ladies level four rider. She's been riding for about 20 years and playing this shooting game for about five years. And stick around because Mandy's going to be one of our shooters in the shotgun class. If you're just joining us, this is Cowboy Mountain Shooting. We're the Northeast Six Shooters. We please welcome you to come on in and take a seat. We can't have anyone in the aisle around the arena while we're shooting, so let those folks in the red shirts and the blue shirts have you help you find a seat right away. All right, Stephen Roy, our range master, has given the green light to Mandy and Casino. All right, quick work of those first five. And make it a run down barrel turn. And a clean run for Mandy Casino, Gordon to our range master. Mentioned earlier, the riders are scored on time and accuracy. There's a five second penalty for each missed balloon, a knocked over barrel, or a dropped gun. 10 second penalty is assessed for not running the course correctly. 
So if they don't go around that black barrel after shooting all five white balloons, they'll get another 10 seconds added to their time. You can also get a 60 second penalty for falling off or breaking the timer or having any other genuine unsafe acts. Next rider is Steve Armato on CB. Again, he comes to us from Stone and Mass. He's a men's level four rider. All right, we got a time of 21.405, but we've got one left standing out there, so we got to add a total of five seconds to his time. Again, these mounted shooters are using a 45 caliber single action revolver like those used in the late 1800s. The single action revolvers must be cocked each time before each for firing by drawing the hammer back. So in between each of those white balloons, those fast shooters have got a lot going on. Despite the use of double action revolvers in the Old West, the CMSA limits our competitions to single action revolvers. So only fixed sight single action revolvers of 45 Colt caliber designed prior to 1898 or reproductions thereof shall be allowed in a CMSA competition. And we've got Craig and Spot in the arena. Our range master has given him the green light. All right, good job tracking those balloons on the way home, but we got one left standing out there for Craig and Spot. Just talking a little bit about the guns. Examples of the guns we use are Colt Single Action Army or a Bisley model, Smith & Wesson Schofield, Russian or Remington models 1875 and 1890. Their productions are Ruger Vaqueros, Bisleys, or Montados. And a reminder that these blank cartridges fired are called 45 caliber long colts. The brass cartridges are loaded with black powder like, those that, like that used in the 1800s. This load will break a balloon up to about 15 feet. Riders are not allowed to carry loaded guns outside of the arena or when not competing. And live ammunition is strictly prohibited at all of our events. Okay, we've got Kara Penley and Ace in the arena. She's going to ride stage number three. We're going to do some shotgun and another show at 4 p.m. <laughs> All right. Nothing better than a pretty cowgirl getting all our targets and kicking us off with the national anthem as well. Beautiful job, Kara. Next rider we're looking for is actually her husband, Jared. She and Jared own Penley Horsemanship out of Temple, New Hampshire. They specialize in training horses for mounted shooting and colt starting. Jared's been riding since he was 15. He spent about five years in Arizona as the head colt starter and overseer of the breeding program on a 12,000 acre ranch before relocating to New Hampshire. He started his own business here and today Jared is riding Magic, a 12 year old registered half Arab quarter horse cross that he trained in this sport. Miss Magic is for sale. So if you're interested in Magic or Jared's horse training, chat with him.
right, a nice clean run, an 18.955 for Jared. And that is our new fast time on this stage. Nice ride, Jared. Okay, next rider we're looking for in the arena is Michaela Fowler on Sterling. She comes to us from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Again, this is our 18-year-old senior. She owns four horses, and she competed this year at the Nationals in Tunica, Mississippi. When she's not mounted shooting, she competes in rodeos, barrel races, and mounted games across America. Let's see how she and Sterling do on their third course. Ooh, hang on now, cowgirl. We got one left standing for Michaela and Sterling. All right, last rider of this stage will be Wendy Gibbons on Jewel. Up after Wendy, we're going to have three riders demonstrate our shotgun class. That'll be Mandy, Craig, and Steve. So the course will stay the same, but we'll do some clusters out there for the shotgun. Stick around for that. Wendy and Jewel have the go ahead from our range master. All right, we got one left standing out there for Wendy and Jewel at a time of 21.328. Okay, just a minor change to the course. Again, we're going to have a few shotgun riders. Ready? All right, we have Mandy in Casino in there getting ready for our shotgun run. So she'll shoot the first five white balloons with her pistol, and then she'll turn that run down barrel while drawing her shotgun and shoot two clusters of two and three balloons. Okay, green light for Mandy and Casino. All right, she'll put her pistol away and draw her shotgun. Notice spectator, she dropped those reins, had full faith in her horse, and shot those two targets. We got one left standing out there, but very nice run, Mandy. All right, next shotgun rider we have coming in the arena is Craig and Spot. Again, thank you to our balloon runners out there from the UMass equestrian team. Can't do it without you.
Ah, we got the second cluster, but the first cluster eluded him. We got three left out there. All right, our next and final shotgun rider will be Mr. Steve Armato on CB. Also want to mention the first three stages, our overall winner was Miss Kara Penley on ace. She had an overall time of 57.657. Craig was just hot on her heels, followed by Wendy and Mandy. Congratulations to Kara for your overall win of our show. 1 p.m. show. Come back and see us at 4 p.m. as well, but not before Steve and CV have their final shotgun run. All right, Steve and CB got three left standing out there. So I believe that makes Miss Mandy Whitney our winner of our shotgun class. Way to go, Mandy. Nice run. Thank you, everyone. Again, we're the Northeast Six Shooters. This was our cowboy mounted shooting demo. If you like what you saw, please stick around. We're inviting our riders back in the arena. You can meet them and talk to them, if you will, and we'll also be back at 4 p.m. Riders, come on back in.